We're going to head back over to Rob for a look at your forecast on your Saturday. Yeah, forecast is including some warm temperatures. I mean, it's going to be warm here today, but look over to the west where the temperatures are going to be approaching 100 degrees in places like Omaha, parts of the Central Plains. All of that heat is moving our way. I don't know that we'll necessarily get that warm, but we certainly will see a bit of a warm up. And overall, the pattern is quiet. There are some scattered showers and storms to our north. However, they're going to stay to our north because all of this clear sky, this is high pressure that's in control. It's going to stay with us. All all the way through the next few days or so. So looking at the next three days, 90, 95 and 96 for Saturday, Sunday and for Labor Day and plenty of sunshine. Now look, each day it is going to get a bit breezier. So southwest winds 10 to 15 may become gusty at times to maybe 20 or 25 and we'll do that for Sunday and Monday as well. And the afternoon is likely going to be our breeziest part of the uh, after of the daytime. It's also going to be a southwest wind. So the good news here is that if you are headed to the lakefront to maybe cool down a bit, the lake won't be as agitated as if this were a northeast wind that tends to bring some higher waves. And I'm always worried about that during the weekend because if it's sunny and it's nice out and people are trying to go to the lake to cool down, if the waves are too high on the lakefront, we have some issues with people trying to get into the lake and then getting into trouble in the lakefront. The good news here is that again, Southwest winds, even though it's going to be into the mid 90s, uh, the lake uh, should be a little bit on the calmer side when it comes to the waves, maybe one to two foot waves. Although if you're on a boat outside, uh, once you get a little farther to the east, the waves may become a little bit higher. Quiet conditions here and hot conditions. However, look at the humidity. It's going to stay relatively low. It's not necessarily going to be low, but relatively low for the next couple of days. And then by Monday and Tuesday, it does start to rebound. Monday, it starts to get into this uncomfortable range and by Tuesday, it does get into that kind of oppressive or sticky category. The temperatures will have come down by that point and it should improve a little bit, although the long range forecast does keep our temperatures above the average. So looking at the seven day, you get hot conditions for the next few days, but the humidity should stay lower, so we're not into any heat advisories or excessive heat watches. We'll keep an eye on it, though. Once we get to Tuesday, the temperatures are still into the 90s and the humidity will still be a factor there. So we may get into some heat advisories here for Tuesday. Thankfully, the temperatures are down a bit. 40% chance of some storms arriving into the evening, and that will be our best chance for rain this week.